So yeah guys, I'm back with another video after how many weeks I'm not creating any video at all Basically because of the fact that I have these modules to work on these online classes to attend to uh, It's making me busy and uh, I do not have enough time to create a video on YouTube And now that I have the free time to create one which is this um, Yeah, I hope you enjoy this video and yeah, so basically um my friends are uh, asking me how did I do this and how did I do that basically these are the same thing uh, basically and actually it is uh, what you're seeing right now is a logo of my high school which is Holy Cross High School and basically I um, you know uh, transformed their logo in 3d and basically animated it and yeah what you're seeing right now is the uh, animation of it and uh, for me it's actually really good though and people like are astonished by it though and I thank them for <laughs> actually like uh, you know for their attention like wasn't even I wasn't even sure that it would actually get attention and it did get attention and I am I'm so surprised that a lot of people like reacted to it to it and yeah so thank you so much uh, if you're watching this if you're one of them thank you and yeah so anyways I'll be showing you how did I create this though how did I create the logo and how did I animate it well basically and yeah it's gonna be one heck of a ride and yeah let's go bro so we head on to blender and basically blender is a very free uh, open source 3d and 2d animation and modeling software in which you can actually download it for free the link is down in the description box below if you want to try it out and download it on your own and yeah so right here i actually added a plane which will be the reference photo that i'll be using though which is the logo of our school and <laughs> yeah it's it's gonna be the reference photo that I'll be using for uh, this creation of the 3D um, logo of this uh, yeah logo. So yeah, <laughs> and now the next thing that I'll be doing is uh, what illustrators do when they uh, actually create icons and um, uh, illustrations, which is using uh, shapes. And basically, that's what I did there. And I used a lot of circles though for the outer circle, which is kind of like the crest though, I guess. Uh, that's what I did there. I created a lot of circles though, to be honest, and it was a lot of work though. So, yeah, after grouping those circles, um, I actually removed the uh, unnecessary vertices though, in which the circle won't be aligned to. So, I removed some of the vertices and all. It was it was a long it was a long process though to be honest and yeah after that though uh, do the same thing on the other circles though and then after that though you have the um, unrefined uh, yeah version of the uh, outer circle or the crest I think and now the next process is all about connecting dots though and that's what I did here basically I connected all the vertices though that way it would be as one though and that's what I did and boy it is a long process of aligning vertices to the outline of the yeah outer circle and yeah and after that though we uh yeah we are finally done with the um outer circle which is the crest i guess <laughs> and yeah the next thing that i'll be working on is the inner circle which is easy to do i just have to add two <laughs> circles and then group them into one and that's it and yeah <laughs> but basically that's it and now that i have the outline of the circles though of the logo now i have to actually fill them though so what i did here is that i didn't actually go um directly all i just have to do it in segments because of the fact that i have no idea what happened when i actually tried um you know filling it as one though it didn't work out as as what i wanted it to be so i actually do it in um, segments and all so that's what i did and yeah it's it's a long process of yeah selecting vertices and then filling them 
and then yeah after that we are done with the circles though as you can see it looks pretty good though and yeah so the next thing though is the shield and the shield actually is not actually aligned properly so i have to adjust uh the the plane that i created though that way um it would be like um, aligned though properly and <laughs> yeah it's it's this is the part where i actually didn't um, know what to do though like i was like um you know a professional back then because i created the logo back in my first months of using blender and that was actually in may or in june i think it was in may yeah i wasn't even sure of what i'm doing though and after i learned that i have to actually remove the inner vertices though it's <laughs> It's, it it make it makes it makes me wanna yeah slap my face though. <laughs> and then next up is the crown. The crown is uh yeah the same process as how I did with the shield. Basically I aligned the vertices also and then uh, yeah. And then next up is the hard part which is the the banner though. Oh uh, yeah the banner uh it kinda took me some time to actually create the banner because it has that hollow um shape that it has though so I have to figure out how I actually uh, create that kind of thing and what I did here is that basically I created what this thing is called inset faces inset faces meaning faces inside faces I don't know if you just understood that though basically I'm gonna show you how it is done though as you can see there's like um, faces on yeah on the inner part of the yeah, shape and basically that's what I did there and then I select the inner faces and then deleted them that's what I did on the hollow part of the shape and now that we are done with the banner <laughs> uh, yeah we are almost done with the shapes of the um, logo and now next up is the rays of the yeah, logo the yeah rays and all Basically, it's all about um, creating a single plane, a uh, thin plane, and then duplicating it though, to, um, according to the size of it. And yeah, copy pasting it though because I'm lazy as heck. And yeah. After that though, we are finally done with the shapes of the, uh, of the logo. And now let's proceed now to the uh, letters of the uh, logo. This part, this process though, took me a lot of time though because I have no idea what to do with the curve curving of the um, you know text so what I did here is that I actually individually arranged them one by one which is a lot of work though and on top of that though I haven't even know what font did they use though and I actually found out that they actually used Arial though so I used Arial both the bold and the uh, the original yeah preference and that's what I did here the um, the name itself though is uh, using the bold version so that's what I did and it's all about now how I should actually arrange them one by one letter per letter though <laughs> it's it's a lot of work and you can see why and <laughs> it's all about uh, arranging them and then rotating them though according to its yeah, yeah there's a lot of letters to put on and that's what I did here and yeah it's a lot of yeah work <laughs> so now I have to actually uh, group the letters though so that I can actually animate it though properly on the next processing which is the animation part though and yeah that's what I did here and I, I actually converted them into mesh and then uh, group them um, according to how they should be grouped and that's what I did here after grouping them all um, yeah I do some adjustments to the logo basically uh, yeah earlier I said that the logo wasn't actually um, properly aligned though so I actually did that on the end of the yeah which is aligning the um, elements of the logo and all that way it would be uh, geometrically yeah um, uh, correct and yeah that's what I did and yeah you are seeing the aligned version of the logo and now I have to give thickness to the logo and yeah so what I did here is that I select all of them and then extruding them though. extruding meaning um, you know making thickness out of the yeah, flat surface and that's what I did and 
it's uh, it's beautiful it's it's pretty really beautiful though and yeah do some adjustments on it though um, making some centers and all and yeah so the next part here is that I actually put some materials to it though uh, basically what I created uh, is a metallic uh, material that way light would be reflected on the surface of the logo making it shine like beautifully and you know, you'll, you'll see why so after I apply the texture or the material to every part of the uh, uh, logo uh, it looks um, you know dull I guess though but if you actually add a uh, light source though it um, it's really, it's really shining though. Like, wow! It's. I mean, look at this. Though. Can you not be? Can you not be like satisfied for once though? Like, okay, so the next part is the animation process of the logo, and basically, um, it's a, it's repetitively uh, easy to do though. I just have to like re rotate the uh, logo, and that's it though. And yeah. That's what I did here. What I did here first is that I created a keyframe where all the elements of the logo are aligned properly. And that's what I did here. And then, yeah, put it at the end of the um, video, uh, the frame limit. And that's what I did. And on the first frame, I actually, um, you know, rotated cr like crazy and putting keyframes on it though. And as you can see, it looks pretty spectacular. Um, the rotating part and all that's what I did and that's what I did on the other parts of the logo um, and yeah put some random rotations on it though and putting a keyframes on it though, and this is the result of it though so here you see that it's crazy spinning though but at the end of the vid video it is uh, all aligned as one though <laughs> so the next part here is that I'm gonna put some lighting to it though I added two light sources initially uh, these are gonna be uh, blue in color though and that's what I'm gonna try to do and then uh, yeah I'm gonna try testing out though by um, you know cranking up the wattage of the uh, light source up to 10,000 watts it's really bright though and yeah as you can see if I actually put the light source near the uh, logo it's gonna shine like beautifully and yeah I'm gonna do some movement of uh, well on the you know light sources that way it would shine on the climax of the video and yeah so this is what that was that was uh that was what i did there uh yeah i put some keyframes to the movement of the uh, light sources and this is what this is what happens though. as you can see it looks spectacular though <laughs> it looks beautiful also it's not rendered properly because this is real time rendering but if you actually render it though um it's gonna look beautiful though on the final output of the render and yeah. then i added a third light source though for the um climax of the video and that's what I did here and then uh, put some yeah adjustments to it though some keyframes to it and yeah this is the result of it though so yeah now the last part here is that I'm gonna try to move the camera though that way the camera will zoom in and zoom out on the video and that's what I'm trying to do that way um, the video won't be uh, you know in place though uh, meaning I have to actually put it in place if you know what I mean though uh, you get the point and yeah I yeah, as you can see the uh, camera is moving uh, <laughs> it's moving um, uh, far away from the logo that way the, the video would see it as zooming out though <laughs> yeah. so now that I actually shown you how did I created this with everything on the logo I'm gonna show you the how I actually did the uh, the second video which is actually for the 70th uh, foundation day of our school <laughs> and that's what I uh, that's what I tried to make though actually the purpose on the second video <laughs> was to actually be part of the celebration though I wasn't really sure of what I should do though on the celebration so I actually created this video and uh, this animation and yeah that's, that's that was it though and here you can actually see the project though that yeah that that is not the rendered uh, version of it though but uh, yeah as you can see that, that banner and all <laughs> there's a lot going on <laughs> and I did some research on how to actually curve the uh, mesh though I actually found out 
that they use as path, nerves path. Uh, yeah, the nerves path though would actually align the uh, mesh node, which is the one that I use for the banner. And that's what I did. I uh, curl it up though. That way, it would actually form a scroll-like, um, you know, uh, banner. And and then the ears, the ears is really well hidden though. <laughs> and if you actually see the uh, the output though, you cannot actually see the uh, the ears though. It's really well hidden though. And I was like, <laughs> I was like really astonished though that it was really well hidden. And after uh, the banner uh, go um, intersect with the ears. It's it really goes well, though, and that's what I did. And yeah, as you can see, it's uh, the academic excellence part, though. It's just um, yeah, text going up, and yeah, the same um, concept of the animation, though. Do some random spins, and uh, this is actually a lot. This video uses a lot of yeah, frames, though. Uh, just just so that I can actually make the movement of the logo slower and more um, yeah, uh, epic <laughs> so that's what I did on the second video and you can see that it's really complicated though at your uh, uh, site though but it's, it's rather actually you know kinda like not complicated on my part though but yeah you get the point. So, anyways, though, that was it, and uh, I I hope you enjoyed this um, um, walkthrough of how I actually created the videos, the animations, and all. And yeah, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. And I was actually planning on doing speed modeling, though, cell phones or uh, cameras or you know picture frames, anything. Though you can actually suggest it down in the comments section below. And I'll just mention you on my next video if I would though. Uh, yeah. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you soon. Peace out.